Hey, it's Luxury Travel Docs here, and welcome to Buenos Aires, Argentina. We arrived here three nights ago, and we stayed at the Park Hyatt Hotel in the Ricoleta neighborhood of Buenos Aires. We boarded the Viking Jupiter yesterday, and we had an all-day tour of Buenos Aires today. We were on the maiden voyage of Viking Jupiter after the pandemic, where we went to Iceland and did the itinerary called Iceland's Natural Beauty in July of 2021. Just a reminder that all proceeds from our channel are donated to charity. Please help us help others by giving us a thumbs up or subscribing to our channel. Your support makes a difference. So let's get to it. Today we'd like to bring you our review of the Peninsula Valdez shore excursion in Puerto Madryn. Always remember to check your Viking daily the night before your tour to find meeting times, locations, and whether you'll need your quiet box boxes. The tour we chose in Puerto Madryn was the Peninsula Valdez Wildlife Sanctuary. We feel watching videos like this prior to booking your cruises on Viking ocean cruises is extremely important. And this excursion is a clear example of that. We started on a bus at Puerto Madryn and we had a two and a half hour bus ride to get to the wildlife sanctuary areas on the Valdez Peninsula. This definitely was not indicated when we purchased this shore excursion prior to departure. We were able to find out that there would be a very long bus ride once we boarded the Viking Jupiter, but often this is too late to secure other shore excursions as they may already be filled. We recommend bringing along something to read on the bus because you will be driving for two and a half hours in each direction. Wi-Fi is not available on the bus. Take along your binoculars provided to you in your Viking Ocean stateroom if you don't have a better pair of your own. You will see lots of wildlife along the landscape during the two and a half hour ride to the peninsula. Mostly what you will see are guanaco and you might see some rea and there will be lots of birds as well. Guanaco are protected animals in Argentina and they resemble a llama or an alpaca. Rhea are birds that resemble an ostrich or an emu, but they're a little bit smaller, but still in terms of birds, they are pretty big, but they are camouflaged very well in the arid landscape. There will be a stop at the visitor center after about one and a half hours into the trip. Here you will have the opportunity to stretch your legs see some exhibits about the local wildlife, and even see a whale skeleton. There is a small shop where you can grab a refreshment or a quick souvenir. Something unique to the area is that locals will stop here to refresh their hot water for mate. The small nature walk is a great place to stretch your legs. Because of the arid climate, the entire day is very dusty, including the ride in the bus. If you have breathing problems, you might consider bringing some sort of mask to block the dust and make sure that you bring your rescue medications with you. Everybody else, just make sure that you bring lots of tissues. The first stop for us was to see the colonies of Magellan penguins. Valdez Peninsula in Puerto Madryn, Argentina. 
We see the Magellan penguins, which there are several colonies right over our shoulders behind us and we'll get you lots of pictures and some video of them. You can immediately see all of the penguins down by the seashore cooling off on this hot day. But then as you start looking closer, there are Magellan penguins everywhere. Most of them are located up close to where you're standing, and there may be a lot of them nesting in their burrows. you will see both adult and juvenile Magellan penguins. Here you're looking at some of the juveniles that don't have the distinct black and white markings of the adults. Penguins won't go in the water if there's seals in the area as they are prey for seals. Next we drove to see the populations of sea lions and elephant seals, but at this location we were treated to an unexpected event. Hey, it's Luxury Travel Docs here today and we are at the Valdez Peninsula in Puerto Madryn, Argentina. We just had a beautiful display of several orca and it looked like about two or three families of them hunting along where the elephant seals and the sea lions are. Um, they weren't successful, which I don't know how I would feel about that anyway, but that was quite a sight to see. We had heard that orcas in the Valdez Peninsula had a very unique way of hunting their prey, and it was on full display for us here. We did get to see the orcas actually beach themselves and capture a seal, but we were able to easily see the adults teaching the young how to prepare to do this. The only other location that orca hunt like this is in the South Georgian Islands. The orcas in this area are named for the distinct features of their dorsal fins as well as unique white markings. We decided to take the walking path down to the beach where we were treated to some beautiful views of the peninsula, lots more penguins, and then something unexpected happened. Off in the distance, orca were breaching. Back near the bus were Patagonian mockingbirds, and we even were able to see a large, hairy armadillo. And yes, that is actually its name. Right before the ride back, we were provided a box lunch with a can of Malbec wine, and that made the two and a half hour bus ride back to the ship a sleepy event for most people. All in all, we would not recommend this excursion. We paid $189 per person. The worst part about this excursion was the two and a half hour bus ride in each direction. The best part of this excursion was seeing the orcas hunting their prey on the coast. The scenery is beautiful, and this is the excursion that has the highest potential to see wildlife at this port. The other excursions offered had equally long bus rides and most of them were not enjoyed by our fellow passengers. 
If you want something to do in Puerto Madryn, then this may be your best option. There was quite a bit of wildlife to be seen along the drive and along the coastline, but for the price paid, the yield is very low. Always remember to make meaningful and healthy travel happen. We hope you've enjoyed our reviews of the Viking Jupiter. Please look for more of them on our YouTube channel. And thanks again for supporting us. We'll see you next time.